This video is presented by Depth Training and Physiotherapy, the official strength and performance provider for the Elmira Sugar Kings for the 2023-24 season. Depth Training, a trusted and proven name for high-performance athletes. A record-setting crowd of 1,400-plus in Elmira on Family Day Monday to see the Sugar Kings getting set to host the Brantford Bandits. This was an excellent game, first period. Tyron Favory, four minutes in, one-timer, buries it. Favory's got his 13th of the season, and he's got the visitors on the board first. It's 1-0. Brantford wouldn't last long, middle stages of the first frame. Right in, picking the top glove hand. Ryan Forwell has his 12th, and we're all tied at one apiece in the first frame. More scoring coming your way in the first period. Evan Palubeski up top. This puck bounces over the glove of the netminder and in. Palubeski's got his ninth. Brantford retakes a one goal lead as they lead 2 1. But Elmira wasn't done in the first period yet either. On the power play, this puck's going to be worked out front and bounce right to the tape of Brendan Gerber, who buries it. Gerber has 27th of the season, and Elmira's tied this game at two. That's where we stand after 20. To the second frame we go. Bandits looking for more offense. They're going to find it. A turnover in their own zone. Out front all alone. Ezra Fisher squeaks it through the five hole. Bandits restore their one goal lead. It's 3-2 Brantford early second period. But as this game goes on, Elmira would answer. Still in the second. What a setup. First one stop. Rebound up top. Right there, Ryan Forwell's got his second of the afternoon. And his 13th of the season. We're all tied at three after 40 to the third period now. And some controversy in this one as that puck takes a weird ricochet up top. Blake Clayton thinks he has the go-ahead goal to make it 4-3. It's initially waved off by the officiating crew. Clayton celebrates anyways. They would gather and talk about this goal, and at the end of the conversation, they would determine that it is a good hockey goal, and Blake Clayton's got his 14th of the season. With that, Brantford takes a 4-3 lead. Then, still in the third period, Alex Simeone and Matthew Humphrey getting tied up in the far corner. Simeone looking for some momentum for his squad as Humphrey and him get tied up. As they go to the ice, the linesman able to separate the two of them. Finally, things boiling over for Elmira in this one. Then it's a turnover in the offensive zone for the Sugar Kings. That'll spring Tyron Favory looking for his second of the afternoon. Silky mitts in tight for Favory, who's got his 14th of the season. Brantford takes a 5-3 lead. Elmira would add one late, but it wouldn't be enough. Brantford, a massive upset in front of 1,400 plus at the Dan Snyder. They take it final, five to four. Our team's doing great right now. We're practicing hard every day, uh, working on power play, penalty kill, playing hard, back checking. I think our team's doing really great right now, and I think we have a big chance to do an um, upset in the playoff. It's absolutely, it's just electric in there. Everyone's growing, everyone's ready to go. Um, I'm not sure what the actual numbers are, but our last handful of games, we've come out with most majority of the wins, so just but we got to keep it going, and I'm feeling really confident about the playoffs. It was really big for this group. We all came in ready. We've been kind of buzzing lately. We were on the winning streak, lost in overtime to Siskins yesterday or two days ago. Uh, but, yeah, I just think all the boys came in ready. We wanted this so bad.